I'm one of those persons who say, Do it! Just don't overthink it. Just <laughs> do it! Because, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pillar of Content, the POC Talk Show, episode number 18. And today we are talking about how to manage anxiety with a special guest, uh, guest from the self Deaf community, and it's Coco. So welcome, Coco, on the stream, on the video, and... Yeah, Coco is a very special person in the community because she is like our bookkeeper, the librarian of the community because she loves books and she knows all the books and animes, of course. So Coco, feel free to introduce yourself, say, tell us who you are and what we're going to do today, actually. Thank you. Um, I am, first of all, I'm very happy to be here and I'm very happy that you gave me the opportunity to be here. Um, my Discord and Twitch name is Baku Coco, but people also call me Coco. And I am 24. I am an international relations student. And I joined the community in June, I guess. Because time flies. And I'm here today to discuss with, with, with you, Long, um, uh, how to manage anxiety. And that's because I have experienced anxiety for a very long time. And I am a very emotional person. So I'm, uh, I usually feel strongly emotional and that affected my life. Um, although for a very long time, anxiety helped me focus and helped me uh, to be better and help me um, improve myself. Um, recently, I started. I started to experience a different kind of anxiety, uh, and and that's what I wanted to talk about because anxiety can be a very positive thing. If you, emotions can be a very positive things if you can control them, and. Um, but if you can't control emotions, and in this case, specific case, if you cannot control anxiety, it can lead to uh, decreased productivity, it can lead to fatigue, irritability, uh, it can, um, it, yeah, in general, it can, it can lead to low levels of moral and to frequent errors. Because if you're not lucid, because, because, you're, uh, because you're anxious about things, then you're more prone to make mistakes uh, because you, you're not thinking like rationally. And, um, and I think that anxiety is something that more and more people are starting to experience, not only in, in university, but also in their workplace. And, and, and that can be a very uh, detrimental things, not only for, for the personal life, but also for business for the, the people around person. yeah so uh there are there have been many tips that have that that people gave me um on regarding how to manage it and most of those tips were don't think about it relax don't uh like mm, don't be anxious uh, <laughs> ignore it <laughs> Yeah, I know what Which you mean. Is, yeah, I, I don't know if if it happened to you. I mean, uh, if if you if you experience that anxiety, because <laughs> it is it is um very common feeling. I've <laughs> the met funny part many is, many people. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah. The funny part is that I think I'm the one. Uh, I'm one of those persons who say, "Do it. Just don't overthink it." Just do it! <laughs> because I think um, the only times when I really feel anxiety, like, because I'm not sure how to, uh, or what to associate this word with, except uh, being mm -hmm. nervous and excited or having this uh, feeling of you're not good enough or you will fail or something. Is that what would you actually uh, associate with that word? Mm, the, the problem is that I think that that's my this is my opinion, of course. I think that anxiety can be different for like every person feels anxiety in a different way. Mm. Some people that I've met had social anxiety. Some people that I've met had um, ac academic 
anxiety. So they were anxious about their exam. Some people mm. felt anxious during the exam. Some people felt anxious before the exam. But yeah, in general, it's this um, feeling of overwhelming um, fear and uh, nervousness. And you, you keep overthinking about things. You keep uh, panic about things. Oh, okay, and okay. in my case, it's more about focusing so much about a single thing that I forget about the rest. So like, I don't, I stop seeing the bigger picture about my life and about my, about what I'm doing. And I get anxious about things that are not very, very important. Um, Because you want to make but, that yeah. one thing right? Is that the reason or? Yeah. In, yeah, most of the time it's because I don't want to fail. But uh, yes, it, it depends. I can be anxious about being liked by 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 those around me or because I want uh, to be liked by those around me. And you don't want to and, disappoint them. And yeah. uh, I think you also know this uh, this syndrome called imposter syndrome, right? Yes, of course, it's connected. It's, yeah, it's, it's connected, connected properly. to that. Yeah, I think uh, it's the same for like um, when I started my first jobs or something. And uh, mm -hmm. I think that, that getting on the first job, like in the hiring process and in the interview process. So shortly before I go into an interview, that's I think that's the only times which I can remember when I'm very feeling anxiety because I don't know what awaits me or what to do or if I say something wrong or if, if they don't understand me, I don't know, something like that. And I think if we go back like 10 years or something uh, or like let's say 20 years, I think, is it 20 years? No, let's say 15 years. <laughs> 15 years uh, when I got my glasses I think that also uh, mm -hmm. I think I still remember I went to the mm -hmm. opti optician is it like the optician this guy who gives me the glasses then I went out and then I was I, mm -hmm. I looked through the glasses and I was like man how could I live without that but I then I, I felt like oh my god people will bully me now because I have glasses oh my goodness then I was I felt like I was extremely hardcore depressed but it only lasted For like five minutes then i crossed the street and then I, i thought like i mean what can i do now to change that or what is the worst thing that could happen and at that moment i think it was when i was maybe yeah i don't know how, how, how long it was but maybe when i was 14 or 16 and that time i was like what is the worst thing that could happen now and then i i realized nothing Because I just accepted the fate that I have glasses now. I can't change it anymore. Even if I'm sad now or if I'm um, yeah, feeling bad, it, it doesn't change anything. I can't do that, but it won't help me. That's why I think I decided for myself. And that's something how I think I, I could manage anxiety by um, accepting how things are and thinking about what is the worst thing that could happen for, to me at that moment now, like exams. What happens if I fail at an exam? Nothing. The I problem just... is, yeah. <laughs> like the, this is this is um, a good strategy, but it, um, in my experience, it doesn't work every time because you. The, the thing is, you so, you're so, you're panicking so much that you cannot get out of the mud. You're you're so in it that you even if you think well, what's the worst that can happen, you feel this strong. Um, panic, getting like getting control of you. It's like when you when you're dreaming and you're dreaming about unavoidable things, and even if you realize that it's a dream, you're like you're still scared. Um, like that's why one of the things that I would suggest to people who are struggling with anxiety is to prior prior start to prioritizing what you're doing. So like okay. As you said, this is important, this is not important, this could help me in the future, this is definitely won't help me in the future. But um, I would suggest them to uh, like start like taking a break on what they're doing. So if for example they are they are anxious about their work, just take a break. Find a find a hobby. Spend some time with your friends. Just not to focus so much on something, just to get out of the situation for a little for a little bit and not 
being stuck in that situation yeah, um, and, and, and forever. And to, you know? to force it. Because I think then people try think, oh my, I have to do that right now and I, I yeah. can't do anything else. And I have to do it or I will fail. And then I think that that's a really good tip as well. Because uh, as, as I told you, because I think I'm one of those persons who say, just do it, man. You have nothing to lose. Just overthink it. Uh, don't overthink it. That's because, and that's also connected to my approach, which helps me. And as you say, everybody has it uh, differently. That's why it, uh, we have to consider different um, ways to do that. And because... I, I'm not sure. Do you would you consider myself as a very emotional person, for example? Mm, I mean, I think you are in control of your emotions. I don't think you are emotionless because you're very. I would say that you can be very empathic towards others, and you have been very empathic towards some people in the community. I mean, I mean, you have been very, a little bit empathic with me. So you you were um, careful about what you said to me, or you asked me if I were if I was okay. And this is a sign of of being empathic. So I think you you can be emotional, but you are more in control of your emotion than me, for okay, sure. Okay. All right. Thanks for that. And um, but I think because of that, because um, because one thing which I wanted to drop as well as like this uh, term self awareness, which everybody's throwing around at all times and because that's something like um what changed my life because if you are aware of that like if you are aware what are the priorities what is the worst thing that could happen and if you're aware of the resources like the people you have around you your environment to talk to mm -hmm. them i think that then uh, can help you and that's all connected to self-awareness because some people just think they have to do it all by themselves This is what, what was my uh, biggest issue at my first job and which my boss told me. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, I thought like on my first job, this is like studying and I had to do it for myself. And that's why it uh, some tasks took longer uh, because I just wanted to do it myself. I was looking into uh, issues and instead of asking other people would, would have uh, sped up the process, I just tried to do it myself. But people know that. And that's what I'm trying to say with uh, being aware of your whole resources of your life, that, which could help. And mm -hmm. that's why I think the self-dev community here, which we have in, on Discord or Discord server, is one thing which can help us very, very much because we have all those accountability channels and we have people w where we can hang out with and talk with them about that. Like, like right now, because... I'm the kind of person who needs to talk about something so I can see if I understand it myself or not. Like right now, what I just said, I, I actually do, don't think that much about that. That's why um, this is like a process to to manage yeah. and uh, think about that with you. And um, so that's how I do it. And um, that's what I absolutely wanted to say. What 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 do you think about that, Coco? I want to add, since you, you talk about self-awareness, that I think what I what I um, really suggest to do uh, is, as I was saying before, uh, no, I think I wasn't saying before, but whatever. Uh, I think the point is don't ignore your anxiety and don't ignore your emotions. Like, um, because... More, many people think that repressing your emotion, and in this case, repressing your anxiety, like okay, I, I don't, I don't want to be anxious. I don't, I, I shouldn't be anxious, is the right strategy. But at the end of the day, it's not. So I would, I would say, not only you should be aware of your, like of, of your priorities, but you should also be aware of, of the reason why you're, you're like that. So instead of saying, don't ignore, don't ignore. So instead of saying ignore your anxiety or uh, just relax, start saying, start asking yourself, why am I being anxious? What, what is happening? What is the problem? Why am I feeling like this? And I'm not saying that if you find an answer, you like, you'll fix the problem because <laughs> emotions and people yes. don't work the way. It's a process. But most of the time, yeah, it's the first step. If you know. Like, you can fix something 
that you don't know. Exactly. That's why you, you have to know what's the problem to fix it. And I mean, in coding, in that, I think <laughs> you, Love it. you're the guy. Love it. I think that's, and, that's yeah. also a really good summary of uh, what you just said. Um, and also connected again to self awareness, like yeah. self aware. And yeah, so uh, I think um, that were really good tips, especially from your side and from, from my side, because it's two, those are two different perspectives, like um, a very emotional person and then somebody who just says, just do it, man. Just don't think <laughs> about that or something. And um, that's why thank you so much for being here, Coco. And I think You're that welcome. was a really great and um, helpful um, episode about how to manage anxiety. So Coco, um, thank you so much. And Guys, if you want to uh, talk to Coco or uh, with me, it doesn't matter. Uh, check out Coco on um, Instagram, which is the, on the left side, Baku Coco underscore. Oh. And uh, if you love books, check out um, her account because um, she loves books. She, she reads all of them and you can talk with her about books or get recommendations. And yeah, so um, that's it for today, Coco. Thank you again and uh, say you. your last famous words. My my last famous words about about what? Um, about myself or about the topic? <laughs> Thank you, Coco. That's it, guys. And don't forget to like, subscribe and comment so you won't miss the next episode. Peace. Very nice.